Hi, I'm Ritika. I'm an Arbor Fellow at IIHS. Uh, before, before IHS, I was doing my master's at Nalanda University in Ecology and Environmental Studies. I have key interest in a small urban town, studying small urban towns and uh, climate change, urban water. Uh, I'm from Uttar Pradesh. Aruma Ravi, the director of IHS, was one of the main reasons for that. So I was reading a very interesting paper of him, like Goa 20, 2100 Agenda, where he was writing about the rural urban, you know, you know, not thinking about these boundaries and our urbanism was the concept. I was like, oh my God, who's this guy? And then I Googled him and found that, okay, there's something called IHS, whom is, he's a director. And then I went to the IHS website and found, okay, there's something called Urban Fellowship Program there. And that time, point of time, I was in my second year of master's doing my dissertation. And I was like, okay, this is something that I can do because my work is on urban. And I was not a specialist in urban because it was environmental studies. So I thought it's a, it's a good time to get switched to urban and urban fellowship program will provide me that idea about the city, that interdisciplinarity, that different dimensions to study city. And then I decided, okay, urban fellowship program is something that I should go for it. Yeah, I mean, when uh, before coming here, uh, I, I had this idea of the city is okay, city is something that is away from the urban and like, sorry, city is something which is away from the ruler and cities are where uh, you have very, you know, paracorial vision to the cities, but coming here uh, when different instructors teach you different thing and then you're like, okay, there's something called planning, which is itself a huge domain to be studied, but you should know about it if you're not the part of it, but you should know about it. And then there are the other infrastructural aspects, environment aspects or uh, architectural aspects. I mean, that's something that I never imagined to be studied, but coming here and learning those things were, yeah, it, it, has, it has met most of the expectations that I had. Like the foundation terms and common terms was pretty good, but the electives, the time period is very less. Like two weeks, you couldn't gra you couldn't grasp all. But yeah, it's intensive. But there is too much to learn that you can later on think about, and you know, if if you have some interest, you can go into that. Uh, the most about the is structure and its instructors. So the instructors are here amazing. I mean, they are all next level. Like in, in context of their depth and breadth of their understanding to the subject and the way they teach and the way you can approach them. Like anytime you go and you can talk to any of them. So it's amazing. So, and the second thing, like, it's it's very op they are open to your new ideas so if you have something new they will like push you hard to go for it so that's yeah i like about ihs uh practical was one of the very important aspect uh, especially our group is still like stacking around each other and the field work that we did and coming back and doing analysis it, it, it literally taught me how to do a teamwork and to be in team. So it, it was like practical is something very important and in I should say inevitable part of you have it should be there because besides uh, your because you have a, some limited understanding of your own subject but when you go with into practical you have different people from different backgrounds and they will come and tell you that okay this is something also the peer learning aspect that is there in practical is amazing. I'm doing an independent project with Gautam Bhan. So that, that was really interesting. Like there were a number of projects and I was like, no, I want to do something by myself. And then, then Gautam came up and was like, okay, you want to do something you have in your hand, so do it. And he pushed me, it's like, if you want to do something independently, do it, we are here to help you. Writing Lab is here to help you. If you want to write a paper or if you want to um, do anything, then yeah, that happened. And I found it something amazing, but that was something I wanted always. I always wanted to do. I wanted to write. I wanted to write a paper, and that's what opportunity I'm getting here.
That's amazing. Like I, it's a first for the very first time I'm working with architects. Before that, I worked with engineers because I'm also from an interdisciplinary course like environmental studies where you got all the people. But architects are rare to found in those courses. So here, there are most of the architects, civil engineers, and the people from anthropology. Like never ever I wanted like I could think of. So the diversity of the class literally adds on what you are learning. So you. And you know, when you go, you st you are talking in a class, and then a person come from a certain background tell something. It was like, oh God, I never think about this. So that add on things and give us different perspective. You to different think differently. So that's that's I found like really a good part of the peer learning at IHS. So every practical, there are some incidents that came up. So uh, Fanishri, uh, she's from anthropology. I'm, I'm from environment. So we, were, we read literally the same paper. And when we came together and analyzed, like, OK, let's see what we have studied. So we studied, like, she studied the anthropological part. I read the literally technical and ecological and environmental part. And we said, like, did we read one paper? Are you sure? So if she wouldn't be there, no, I couldn't never get that aspect of that paper or that aspect of that topic. Like, okay, there are the cultural aspects of the lake, there are the other aspects. And there was a paper on the lake and I was thinking only about the groundwater, okay, the cycle and the things, who is impacting what, what who is encroaching what. And I was like, okay, I am missing on something very important in my life. So that literally was an eye-opening event for me here. And after that, I, I always try, always try to get every aspect of a certain topic. Okay, that's that's where the inter interdisciplinary makes sense, where that your holistic approach to certain topic works. So yeah, that, that was really an eye-opening event for me to like, okay, let's wake up and see what other aspects are there also. Uh, depends like if uh, if they found something interesting in cities and want to know about more beyond cities even like human settlements so it's a good place to come it's a good place to learn what other aspects you can go for and if you're confused do come I mean like it's it's a place where you will get chunks and bits of everything and you feel like okay this is something I know and this is something I want to do so that's something you could relate here at IHS.